Now Australia's drug driving epidemic and the families caught up in it, they say convicted drivers are getting off too easily, even when they take a life, and they want a complete overhaul of the system. I was left on the side of the road dead, not breathing. He didn't turn around. He just kept going. Jesse, do you have anything to say to the victor's family? I am so disappointed that my daughter's life is only worth five years. And we've got story after story and people dying daily. Every single day at courthouses right across the country, a revolving door of death and destruction caused by drug drivers. And caught in the middle of it all, innocent families who've done nothing wrong. Tonight, why their fight for justice can be just as traumatic as losing a loved one at the hands of a drug driver. It's horrible because I'm living this life every day. And it doesn't matter how long it goes, how many years, we still suffer. It's a pain no mother should ever have to endure. And a part of you, huge part of you, dies with them. There's not a day that goes by that Leanne McMahon doesn't think of, doesn't miss her daughter Rhiannon. I don't really um, remember much now about her laugh or her, the sound of her voice or anything like that, which yeah, is probably the hardest thing. At just 19, Rhiannon's life was suddenly snatched away by an ice addict. And as cruelly as her life was taken, you could say the man responsible won the lottery. Not only was she sitting beside him, taking her last breath, but he wanted to run away from the scene. Only a month before he killed Rhiannon, Jason Coomber got his licence back on the condition he drive with a zero alcohol limit. But that didn't stop him getting high on a cocktail of drugs, including ice and GHB. He fell asleep at the wheel after a two-day bender, slamming into a tree and killing his young passenger. He had no remorse whatsoever for what he'd done. Rhiannon's daughter, Alyssa, is an orphan to ice. She was only two when her mother died and is now being raised by her grandma, who Alyssa calls mum. I struggled with that, very much so. Um, I would argue with her when she was little because she'd call me mum, mummy, and I'd say, no, I'm not your mum, I'm Nan. Rhiannon's death seemed to be a clear-cut case of culpable driving, which carries a maximum jail term of 20 years. But prosecutors agreed to downgrade the charge to dangerous driving if Coomba pleaded guilty with a new maximum of five. He was sentenced to two years, six months, with a minimum of 15 months. I could barely walk out of court. I could barely walk out of it. and. I just could not believe that that's all he got. I ended up getting hit and he stopped for 10 seconds at the light and he poked his head out the window and uh, he screamed out something. Gold Coast team Preston Potter shouldn't be alive. We're told that he was um, gravely ill and bleeding a lot and we should expect the worst at this point. The 17-year-old spent two weeks in intensive care and another three months in hospital after a drug driver mowed Preston down while he was crossing the road. His dad, Gavin, is still haunted by that night. My heart left my body and, uh, and then I had to explain it to my wife what had happened. And having to do that's probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Despite running a red light and leaving his young victim for dead, Robert Somerville copped a one month driving ban and was fined only 500 bucks. Magistrate was only presented with an unregistered vehicle, a driver driving on ice and a driver hitting, leaving the scene is what it, what it was. If you drive on your phone while you're driving a car with a registered vehicle, no drugs or alcohol in your system, $1,000 fine for that. 
he got $500 and a one month suspended license. When I was a police officer, the worst job ever is knocking on someone's door to tell them they've lost a loved one in a car accident and more and more of them are becoming because of drug drivers. Former cop Brad Batten is the Victorian Shadow Minister for Crime Prevention. When they find out that a person had taken you know, a loved one's life, a child, a mother, a father, because of drugs, the impact on that is a lot worse than just hearing about an accident that was you know, a random accident. It impacts them for the rest of their lives. He says the system clearly isn't working. What you do need to do is have in place a position where people who are under the influence of drugs on the road are at least at bare minimum treated the same as what a drink driver is. Over the past decade there's been a startling surge in drug drivers, an almost 500% jump in Victoria, 246 in New South Wales, the ACT is staggering 1,131%. Queensland 915, where police say one in three motorists are now testing positive to an illegal substance. In WA, it's 117% up. The Northern Territory, 218. South Australia, 165. And Tasmania, 76%. No amount of time in jail will ever bring Rhiannon back. That's a fact. But if they're not doing the time, and they're not, there's no punishment after they do the time, then what's stopping them from doing it again? In Victoria, more accidents are caused by drug driving than by alcohol. Drugs are also involved in more than half of all road deaths.